I want to show you um, down here on the lower right of, of, of this workspace are five icons, a music note, a camera, a text tool, a funny thing that means transitions, and a world. If I click on the, the, the music tool, it gives me uh, my iTunes library, and I can actually test, push the play button and test something. But let's say I want this first, uh, or maybe the second song, which is Little Martha by the Allman Brothers, music I would never use without permission. And I just dragged it up here, put it at the beginning of my movie where the playhead was, and just let go. And now, if I play this, you can hear that they're actually... Uh, competing with each other, the music and, and the speaker are about the exact same volume. So if I want to bring that music down a bit, I can just click on that little icon on the very left at the beginning of the music and say audio adjustment, and uh, I can just bring the volume down on that. And you can do fade-ins and fade-outs and other things there, and you can just play around. That's a lot of fun. Um, or I can actually click on the, the her clip, and you can see there's another icon, that same icon appears here in blue, and if I clip on click on her and say clip adjustments, uh, you'll see that I can I can adjust the the um, uh, several things. For example, I can I can go and adjust the video. I can change the level, the colors, and the brightness. Uh, a lot of things you can play with and learn from. Again, you can also access her audio here. So if I say done and then play it again, let's see if that audio. So that music is a little bit more 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 in balance now. And uh, so that's the, the the iTunes library. If I click on the photo library, that's my iPhoto library, and I can just um, drag a picture and just stick that in there. If, so I just dragged it out and stuck that in between. Um, of diversity, of and diversity and character. So that was a little long, and so <clears throat> I can actually do the same with this with this photo. I can get that little icon, right click on it, or just click on it, and I can actually come into into it and. Uh, uh, adjust just by saying click clip adjustments I can change it from four seconds to two seconds and it'll be a lot faster so I can also um, click on this icon and do cropping Ken Burns rotation and uh, by by moving these these windows in here I, uh, it shows you what the start and end point the, the red being the end and the green being the start point of the zooming in Ken Burns the documentary filmmaker technique is and if I just come here uh, and play that now, you can see that there's a whole different kind of, of motion that goes on with that photo. So um, the other thing to, good to know about the photos, if you, if you want to um, change the, uh, the speed of this, if you're doing a documentary Ken Burns-like thing, and you have hundreds of photos, and you didn't realize they're all a second too long, you can make that the time you want it, and then click this button, which is Apply to All Stills. And that's really kind of a handy thing too. So I want to show you the uh, text tool next. And if I click on the T here, I get a uh, a whole bunch of windows. Uh, you can't really see them too well, but there are a bunch of different kinds of uh, type options. And if you uh, if you click on them or uh, if, if you scroll over them, it, and there's any any animation to them, it'll show you what it does. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just pick this top uh, left one, which is a very classic title slide right in the middle. And I'm going to drag that up to the very front left of my video. And you can see that uh, then a window pops up saying, what kind of a background do you want? So I could just pick a color background and, uh, and uh, leave it like that. And then you come right over here into the, believe it or not, into the play window. And you can, you can, uh, you can, you can, Carl's, uh, I movie tutorial and then write a subtext and you work on that right in there and then when you you can see that it's two seconds long there's a little blue bar that appears and that's that's your text content you can click on that anytime and change it anytime you click on the blue bar up there it'll give you the you can edit that text so if we were to play this now you can see there and it, fit, it fades out um, but it might be nice to have that music there so I'm going to go ahead and select that music and uh, just slide that over and now when I start it the music, the, the music starts with it. So you can see now that I've come up a little short here uh, so I can just drag that out. Of course when you run out of song you're out of song and uh, there is nothing you can do about that so you might want to either trim your video to, to be as long as your music, bring some other music in or something like that, something to think about. So if you wanted to, like for example, identify this one, just grab one of these um, 
these uh, lower lower thirds title, title slides, and you instead of taking that to the beginning of the movie, what you do is you just put that right on top of the video clip, and uh, what that allows you to do is uh, come over here again and say, um, you know, uh, you know, Dorsey Weber, you know, Dorsey Goo. This is not who that is, and you know, and their title is here, and um, then when you uh, maybe you want to have her talking for a second before that appears. So we'll just drag that to the right a little bit. And that way, um, when we when we when we play this video clip, you'll see that Go ahead. Go ahead. in the top left you'll see this almost invisible little box that says show fonts. When you click on that box you get this window and it has typefaces, colors, and type sizes. It's a little not it's not very intuitive because I tend to think that I read across and I think that you can get Helvetica in white and only in that size. But what you do is you collect, you select the type that you want, and you as you roll over them, you can see what they look like, the different ones there. And you can just click on one and uh, click on the size you want, and you can make that much larger and make it yellow, make it pink, whatever color you like, and then just say done. And uh, that's how you change those, those things on the fonts. So the other thing are transitions. So I like the, just the more sophisticated, simple ones, like across dissolve, the very first top left one. And again, you just t pick that up and drag it up there between uh, the two clips. And what that does is it creates a much smoother transition between one clip and another. If I actually come in here on, and click on the little icon there and hit click on trans, on, I can make this a, uh, let's say, a, just, for, just to show you, a two second transition. And the last thing on the right are, are backgrounds you can use. For example, you can uh, you can you can drag a, a globe up here. These tend to be like if you're doing a they do these for families or people who want to show that they went someplace. So it'll create this sort of map for you. You can actually um, click on that, and I believe you can edit this. I've never used this before, so good luck. There's more icons down here, and one of those is a, a microphone. If I click on that microphone, I can actually do a a voiceover. Uh, so for example, if I uh, if I decide to uh, to say something over uh, a piece of this clip right here, uh, I just have to click and it starts to play countdown three. Hi, those are my two sons, Cole and Eric. And we're going to end now. And I'll just hit the space bar. And you can see now that a little purple thing has appeared down here. And if I were to play that. Hi, those, those are, are my, my two, two sons, sons Cole and Eric. Eric. So doing a voiceover is a very handy thing. So these other icons, you can play with them. You won't, you know, decide if you need them. I'm not going to get into those right now. So one other thing you can do with uh, with uh, with iMovie is you can click on the little uh, camera in the lower left here, and uh, it'll it'll open up a window that'll show you what you look like. I'll look up there and say hi, everybody, and I can capture my my image and uh, and say, you know. Maybe I want to uh, have a, have my God voice in there and say, "Hey, everybody, you should be listening to Carl Good all the time," and then say stop. And once you've done that, it's going to process the video, and then you close that window, and that little clip appears down here, and you can just drag it up and add it to your movie. And when you play it, you look uh, have, 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 have my, my God. God. Yeah, you can see I didn't. You know, that's so that's me. Hello. Um, end of that. We'll delete that really fast. <laughs> Tune into the next part of these tutorials uh, for more information on iMovie.